Well, welcome back. It's time to do some fan testing. Uh, actually, all this mini quad race fan thing type deal here made me want to bust out the mini quad and try it out again. It's been like two years since I flew that thing. It didn't go too bad. Uh, except for like my transmitter had some connection issues as you've seen, but everything, nothing broke surprisingly. Uh, and it was fun, but now we're, we're back to business and it might look like we're going hunting today, but we're, we're actually going to go, um, hunting for performance. This video is brought to you by get in light as someone who has under cabinet lighting. I can tell you there's uh, two ways of doing it. You can do it the super sketchy way like I did, or you can do it the professional way, which I recommend. Get in light offers professional three color LED under cabinet lights that can be controlled via integrated switch or even hardwired. Out of the box, get in light under cabinet lights have two brightness settings or can be dimmed down to 10% power from most standard wall box dimmer switches. Get in lights come in two colors, six sizes, and can be linked together with included linking cable. The 24 inch model that I have here retails for $99.90. So if you have a dark and dingy kitchen, Pick up some get in lights under cabinet lights at the link in the description below. You might have seen this one in the community tab. This is my nine blade design for my fan, but you know, I got to thinking what's what's the fun in testing one out? Let's let's test a few, but nine blades, because the Noctua's a nine blades. Then this is um, a bit more aggressive on the, the blade angle, and this is a three blade. Uh, hopefully this will maybe push more air, less load on the, the motor, because I'm not sure. Uh, heat wise, I did put some ventilation in there, but things get pretty toasty. And then this one's just for fun. This is 30 blades. It's basically a disc, but it looks awesome. The blade angle's a little less aggressive than the nine blade. They are smaller, thinner. It's basically meant to look like um, a high bay, like the high bypass fan on a, a jet engine. And that's kind of what it does look like. But we're gonna run this, see how it does. And then we're gonna, well, I don't even know if this will make air move, but either way, it'll be cool. And the idea here, so you can see I have the the anemometer shroud out, and I know Bernoulli and his principles and whatnot, but this is all I have, and I haven't made anything new yet, so we're gonna use it. And as long as I guess we use every fan on the same shroud, we can at least compare and contrast between the fans to get like an idea of which one's performing, how good. So we're gonna use this to measure wind speed so we can get the CFM of each one of these fans. And we're also gonna measure noise. And I don't have an awesome DB meter, but I do have a phone, so that's as good as it's gonna get. Well, we're gonna see how loud this one is versus these three designs. And then, you know, after we have an idea how they perform, we're gonna throw them on the D15 and see how they cool an actual PC. Now this only runs at 2000. I don't know if we can get that motor to run that slow, but we'll get it to run as slow as we can and we'll, we'll see how they level out. And then when it's all said and done, maybe we'll just run them full on and see how they cool or if they explode like this one. This one's got a lot of mass on the outside. I did have one break. As you can see, I did some testing uh, of different blade counts, um, designs, widths, thicknesses, pitches. Things didn't always go according to plan, but it was sweet. So now these are all these are all gone. We don't, we don't, we don't care about those. Let's test these. Okay, so we got we have our baseline down now. We have an airspeed of 3.3 meters per second, which translates into a CFM of 23.2, given this duct diameter. Uh, noise levels of 62 dBs. Uh, the average room was 45, so we're just gonna use that as our our base. Then you know what it got. So 62 for the Noctua, and RPMs were 2,065. So now it's time to get down to business. So we're gonna start with the uh, the nine blade. So we gave it a little bit more space around the shroud now, so hopefully we don't have any issues. We'll get it bolted in and uh, see how low of an RPM we can run this thing. So, here we go, contact. Let's see what we can get RPM wise. That might be it. Sit rep. This is not gonna work for CFM readings. It just doesn't, it's not accurate. Um, I did use it as like a, a noise test branch, so 
Uh, I'll do CFMs basically. I'm just going to hold the thing behind it. We'll have to find a way to hold this thing shut. But before we get there, look at it. Doesn't that look like a little jet engine? That's, I think it looks cool. Um, when I was doing the noise readings, though, I did notice that most of the noise on this setup comes from the, mo the mini quad motor. Let's see if we can pick it up for you guys. So I don't know if you guys hear that well, but it's mostly a whine just from the motor itself. The blades aren't really the blades aren't really that loud. The 30 blade is the quietest, but it's mostly it's just mostly whine from the motor. But let's find a way to measure the CFMs. We'll be right back. Let's talk some numbers real quick before we get to cool and stuff. So after running everything. I can just show you all the numbers here right now. The best performer was the three blade. Um, also, it's the noisiest, but it does move the most air. This thing, um, it's, it's, it, this, it didn't really move much, but it looked the coolest. It looked like a little jet engine. So now we know where they kind of sit. Let's see how they cool. So we'll start off by getting a baseline with wherever that fan is. There it is. We'll get a baseline with this guy on our D15. And then they'll run, we'll run each one of these blaze designs. We'll first just start out with half throttle, see how they all perform. And then we'll just keep going up and up and up and see if we can run at full speed or if we, if we break before them. But first we'll run half, we'll give, we'll give a little half throttle just so we at least get some numbers and then we'll have some fun. Preliminary scores are in and well, they didn't do too bad. I'll put them on the screen so you guys can see. But now it's time to step it up a notch. We're gonna start with a three blade because I think that this one's gonna do the best. Now, um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is gonna do the best? Or just let me know in the comments if you think this is gonna do the best. Don't be cheating. Make sure you go down there now. Uh, leave your answer before we run these tests. But here we go. We're gonna start with this one. Like I said, half stick. Uh, we'll see which blade design does the best. And then we're gonna take that one and try to get the max performance. So here we go. Before we get started, I'm, you know, I make these models available for everybody. So if you're gonna do this, just know that it's not really recommended to put, you know, high speed spinning unstable things in your computer because they could possibly break and break everything around them. So just know that going in, if you're gonna try this, that bad things could happen. But if you don't wanna try it, I'll do it for you. All right, that looks like half throttle. All right, so half speed is about 9,000 RPM. Uh, we'll see how that does. I don't know how loud that sounds, but it's not quiet. No, not at all. It's cool though. Like, well, it's cool looking, but it's also cool. Just in case you're wondering, my phone says it's uh, about 78 decibels, just right here, about a, about a foot away. All right, so one survived. Now let's try the, let's try the nine blade. Oh, the, the motor's, so the motor's surprisingly cool. It's a good thing. So here's our here's our nine blade. You guys have already seen it, but I think it looks cool. I think they all look cool. Quick change blades, patent pending. Alright. All right, that one's done. It sounded a, a little louder. Now it's time for this guy. 
I don't even know if it'll cool anything, but it looks like a jet. Aww. I guess uh should have tightened that screw up a little tighter. I don't this one didn't seem to be as uh as balanced as the other ones, but well, it got a zero. It looked cool, but zero. Where'd my nuts go? So out of the blades that did finish, let's see which one did the best. The A12 X25 had an average temperature of 59.1, max temperature of 65. The three-blade design had 57.2 for an average. Uh, max temperature of 64 and the nine blade had a average of 57.4 and a max of 64 so the three blade did a little bit better uh the 30 blade well you've seen how that went anyway let's put the three blade back on there and crank it up see if it'll see if it'll run full speed or if it'll pull a 30 blade Well, that was fun. So as you can see, you know, the blades, they never did separate. I mean, this one did, but I think, it, I think they ended up breaking off because it ran into something at high speed. But it goes to show that you can make some pretty cool 3D printed stuff that can handle some pretty high centrifugal forces. Um, the problem that they can't handle is heat. So that's kind of what happened here. You can see that it, it slowly started to heat up the motor. These Emaxes. You know, these red bottoms, they get quite hot, especially if you don't have good ventilation. And, you know, I do, I try to put some ventilation in there, but I can't really make them too much bigger or we're going to lose the integrity of the, the hub. But it ran for, I don't know, a good three, four minutes before it, uh, it lost its shape, contracted the shroud, and then the nut backed off, and then it was all off to the races. I didn't run this guy because I would assume that the, you know, based on how the temperatures did at half throttle, you wouldn't see much better out of this one and you'd end up destroying it. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. So I'll leave that as like a little display. But we did prove that you can take um, a 3D printer and make a fan that does perform just as good as uh, a fan you could buy. You know, yeah, it was really loud, especially when it's running full out. There's no way you could sit by that all day. But half throttle was uh, still loud. Wouldn't wanna be next to that, but it does work. And that's all that really matters. We just proved that it worked. It was fun to try. And uh, you know, if you have some of these red bottoms, this is the RS2205 from Emacs. Um, I'll put these models on my Thingiverse account so you can download you know, the 30 blade, the nine blade, the three blade. Uh, you can even make your own. Somebody did ask if I'd show, make a little video on how to design fan blades and I'll, I'll throw that out there in the uh, coming week or so just so you guys can get an idea if you're using some sort of 3D modeling software to make blades on your 3D printer. I'll just give you a, a little tutorial on how I do it and maybe it'll help you out. Somebody asked if I could do that, so that'll be coming. Um, if you have any other ideas on things you wanna make spin really fast that can cool things or do really anything, let me know in the comments down below because we'll check them out. But in a nutshell, we made a better fan. Not a, not a quieter fan, but a better one. Till next time.